Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over part 6 of the warehouse design series. In this part we're actually going to put in cafeteria chairs. We're going to go over what the cafeteria looks like. We're also going to put in the front entrance furniture. And we're going to add in the water fountain near the bathrooms. So this should be a relatively quick lesson, although there is a couple different things we're going to focus on. Um, so let's get into it. Real quick, before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel. This lets me know how the videos are doing, if you guys like the videos, if you like the content. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you want to see something else done on AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section below. And if you want to support the channel, there's a link down below as well. All right, so let's get started here. And the first thing we're going to do is actually zoom in on the cafeteria area itself. So that's going to be right here. And the cafeteria area is going to be, let's measure it. We've got 22 feet by 38 feet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to add these doors. Now I've pulled in all these CAD blocks from a CAD block website that I will link down below. But we are now going to first add the double doors in. We're not going to do a single. We'll do a double. And that way there's a little bit more room for traffic to flow in and out. But we're going to copy this selection. And we are going to grab it. And it doesn't really matter how far we come off, so we'll just say right there is fine. Actually, you know what, about four feet off, and then we'll escape. Now we have our door entrance to the cafeteria. The next thing we want to add in is this right here. So this looks like it has doors because it does, but this is going to be a refrigerator. So most employees will need a spot to have a refrigerator um, to put their lunch. And we're actually going to move this up into the corner of the cafeteria right here. So that way there's an area for employees to put their lunch. And this is actually going to be a little bit of an industrial size refrigerator. Most refrigerators aren't this big in a standard house. But in a warehouse, we want it to be a little bit bigger. We want it to be a little bit more sturdy to allow all the employees to put their lunches in. Next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to add a countertop right next to the refrigerator. Um, we're going to measure actually this and we're just going to kind of, you know, take an average estimate, say two feet. So with two feet, we are going to come out here, come out two feet and we're going to bring this counter and we'll say it's 10 foot long just for some extra counter space for some microwaves, um, you know, supplies underneath it. And then we're actually going to add in a sink as well. And I'm just going to copy and paste this sink that I already have made. I'm going to copy that. And I'll just grab it from that point right there. And we will add that in down. We'll go right here. Again, it doesn't need to be too exact. You're going to be able to get actual measurements based on the company that's installing. But again, we want a sink right there, and then we have extra counter space as well for, again, microwaves, um, silverware, anything that needs to be put out. Next thing we're going to do is actually add in the furniture itself. So to do that, I've also brought these in from the CAD block website that's linked down below. But I'm going to grab that, and we're just going to copy. Now, I don't need to really space them out in any particular order. It can kind of be whatever, and once you're in the... Um, once you decide what specific um, tables and chairs you want, you're going to just, you know, kind of understand where you can put them and where you want to put them. But we are going to put them just like this to kind of spread them out. And I'm actually keeping this area open because we're going to add another door for an outside little patio area in a little bit. All right, so now that we have the um, cafeteria furniture in there and placed, I'm actually going to add in the door now, which I took from another part of the building. I just copied this door right here, and I brought it over here since it's an external door. We're now going to rotate it. There we go. And then we are going to just copy it, grab it from right there, and we will pull it in to we'll just say right here is fine. Now, the outdoor pad, I'm going to erase this, erase this, and I'm going to move this up here because we will need this later. The outdoor pad 
you know, it can really be however big you want it, but we are going to just, uh, we'll say it's 20, 20 feet by 20 feet and bring it in. So this should give enough seating for a nicer day to be outside. And we're going to do the same thing and bring um, these tables out here too. And this can honestly be an area too where people can come smoke if they're allowed to at your facility. And we're actually going to add one more table up here as well. And we are going to slide this one over to just kind of adjust things properly. There we go. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tables. Nine times four is 36. So you should be able to house 36 people in there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is actually add the front entrance doors. And I've gone ahead and created this little um, foyer area because most warehouses will have something like this. So you'll enter in the front door right here. And then you'll come into this area where you have to badge in or sign in or call in to get access to the main part of the building. So for this part of the building, we are going to add the doors to two areas, but I'm going to take the midpoint right here so I get them centered, draw a line up here, and that way I know where my center point is. And now I'm actually going to add the doors. I'm going to copy this door right here, and we're going to take it from the center point. And right let's make sure we're good on that there we go so we have that center point right there and we want the doors facing outwards so we're going to add another door do the same thing go right here we're going to copy the selection center point again right there and this time we are going to just trim these edges off and then we're going to delete this center line so that it's not there and as you can see now you have the entrance area to the building we have added the entrance double doors all right so now that we have our front entrance doors created we are going to add a security desk to the front uh, as previously stated most of the time you'll have to sign in and then you'll have to badge into any sort of secure facility so you're probably going to be greeted by a security guard at the front and to do this, we're actually just going to steal this desk block. We're going to copy it. I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to select the whole thing and explode it. And this allows me to actually take just parts of the desk that I don't want. We don't need this filing cabinet. We're going to move the desk. We're going to actually rotate it first. And then we're going to take the desk and we're going to move it right here to the front entrance area and I'm actually going to make the desk a little bit longer and add it into the wall right here take this piece delete it and there you go you have a security desk at the front entrance when people walk in and that way they can get their badge uh, get signed into the facility all right so the final thing we're going to do is we're actually going to install or put in a water fountain. So most facilities will have a water fountain. And to do that, I actually have another block of a water fountain. Again, these can all be found down in the description below. But it's going to be right here. I'm going to copy it. And we are going to bring it down. And we're going to place it right here in the hallway uh, between the bathrooms, as water fountains normally are. So I'm going to grab this. We are going to find this point right here, which is roughly the center, and then it'll snap to my center point right there. And as you can see, a water fountain is now right outside the bathrooms for the associate population to use. And that way, too, when they're coming out of lunch, they can come here to the bathroom, and they also have this uh, nice big area as well. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. Kind of just move some blocks around for the uh, furniture in the cafe, um, you know, added a couple more security measures and then added the water fountain in as well. So again, if you like the video, give it a like down below, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see anything done, leave it in the comment section, please. 
and I hope everyone found the video helpful and, and enjoyed it. So, uh, again, thank you for watching, and I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.